got a lovely uh, what's it called custom. It's actually a custom shop one. Really nice guitar, but it's got a uh, bare knuckle emerald studies in it, and they're coming out to put the stock pickups back in to be sold. The guitar to be sold and the pickups to be sold separately. <laughs> So I'm not going to be afraid to miss the first custom shot Les Paul pulled apart. So it's going to be an interesting experience for me to see what's actually going on in here. Oh, okay. Not quite what I was expecting. Replace capacitors, a couple other things changed. gonna fall over aren't you? There we go. So unfortunately I don't think any of this is stock so I can say I still haven't seen the, the inside of a custom shop Liz Paul personally. <laughs> I know this is the cavity, but it's not what you're greeted to when you first take one of these apart. There's a green wire there. Sorry, I realise I'm in the way, but... To get in and get these wires out, it kind of need to be. There's a flies. Come on. There we go. Right, I'm just going to flip this over, get the strings off, and unscrew them. Unscrew the pickup rings. It looks like. Oh, I don't know what it looks like, but I think I can see some mahogany through the paint. So I say, uh, at least it's made correctly. So, old pickups here that are going in, and the pickups are just coming out, so I've got to swap the rings. Um, ah, yeah, keep the camera on for this because it's always funny when you want to spring across the room. So, I've got the neck one in my hand now. Problem is I don't actually know what the original uh, screws are. Because I've got obviously I've got the fillet heads in these are now. Then I've got some uh, flat heads here. No, nah, they're brand new. They're the bare knuckle ones, aren't they? Come on. Now, if you're looking at bare knuckle versus what's... That's the original screws. Pick up off. You see this all the time. The bit that goes towards the neck is always thinner than the bit facing towards the bridge. Because I see people put rings on upside down. Like they've had the pickups out and that. They even put the ring on backwards. Sometimes you need it in like a hollow body because of the height differential but 
most of the time you should just put the ring on the right way. So I've got that holding down quite precariously. Oh come on. There we go. Just one side. And the other side. There we go, right. I'm just going to get the other ring on and then come back. Right, I've already wired the next one in, so I just got the bridge pickup to wire in. It's funny because this is part of a pair, the other one. Oh. The guy brought me them. That was Jim from Jim R Guitars. So these guitars are going up for sale. Um, so he brought me the pair. There, he's like, all right, it's two Les Paul Customs, just even pick up swaps. I was like, all right, cool. Got them into the flat, thinking, please be one black and one white. First one opened in a true, in a all black true historic case. <laughs> it was Cherry Sunburst. I was like, damn it. <laughs> But then I opened this one, I was like, yeah, that's the kind of, I know it's too white to be like Randy Rhodes, but it's still a white custom, you can't beat it. has all of these things and I'm I didn't check what pickups were in the cherry sunburst but I'm kinda of hoping they're like uh, super distortion type things. <laughs> Just because I want to see what they sound like and you know cherry sunburst custom is definitely like an ace freely vibe. Honestly like I'm terrible I need to associate the guitar with a famous person. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I can't just think of a guitar as as it's his, if I see a cherry sunburst slice pull, I have to think case freely. <laughs> sunburst custom, I should say. I see a white one, I think, you know, uh, Randy Rhodes, Steve Clark kind of thing. Black one, also Steve Clark and uh, see Jimmy Page and that kind of thing. Right, so that's the two pickups in. screwdriver that you are. There we go. Oh, there's some weight in this, as you can imagine. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put tension on the strings, set the pull pieces and pick up height. I'm going to do a quick sound demo. Right, Maybe a bit quieter than normal because it's after six at night and I don't like making too much noise but just tuned it to have a step down so it's because I don't know how old these strings are so you've got like Intonation won't be good in the tuning as things out this table because the strings are like just back on it. Anyway, that's that for this Les Paul custom. Again, it's a custom shop model. I can't believe I'm actually playing one of these. Like, 
actually get some time with it through my rig. <laughs> it's not often that happens. Um, it's nice, but it's not custom shop price is nice. <laughs> I'll say that much about it. Um, yeah, usual pickup height, one and a half millimetre uh, when you hold the flash straight down. And that's that.